Hello, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today I have my favorite players on ultimate team to share with you So I always get asked Fuji. Can you do a top 10 video? What do you think of this player? Who are your favorite players? Well, these are them today my sub and reserves I've made like a full team the sub and reserves are just honorable mentions really then they're, they're not in any order in, in particular But my starting 11 is my 442 favorite players on the game So hopefully you do enjoy and if you want to see more of these types of videos Let me know in the comments you can drop down if I've missed any that have your favorite players as well and if you're needing ultimate team coins to go out and purchase them head over to fifaultimateteamcoins.com links below in the description use the code fuji for that discount or if you're wanting to purchase new games head over to g2a and use the code fuji so what i'm going to do guys is start off with the sub bench move over to the reserves and finish it off with the starting 11 and to kick things off we have this guy the beast rafael varan i'm not too sure which fifa he appeared on but ever since he did i haven't looked back always use him just for a reliable center back he's strong He's powerful, he's fast, and he's got great defending abilities. Really, really good player. Then we're going to move over to Alessandrini. He is fantastic. Every time I bring him into a team, he just seems to be able to outperform anybody else in the side. He's responsive when it comes to dribbling. He's fast, and he's finishing. He's left-footed, so he can score with that. But he gets a lot of the goals. Like The majority of the goals I score with him come from his right foot, so that's a nice attribute to have. Then we move over to Ben Yedda, and a lot of people are probably thinking, why isn't he in your starting 11? He's not far off, let me tell you, and he just just feels like a solid unit and despite him being quite small he's just really compact and he's strong when it comes to like dribbling he can barge his way through he's got a good finish and he's just a really really good player then we're going to move over to the best non-rare cam on the game in my opinion and it is Lanzini his finishing 66 if you've ever tried him before you can't comprehend like it's 66 how is it how is it that low when he can just score from outside the box he can finesse it he can smash it he is outstanding what a player really really good then we move over to another West Ham player and it is Dimitri Payet. You can put him in any team that you want. He'll start demanding. He's got good passing, good dribbling and he's just a really solid player and powerful shot. Then we move over to a CDM. I try to balance it out a bit with the defenders, midfielders and this guy right here. If you're looking for an out and out CDM that's going to get the job done, no questions asked. Aggressive, good tackles, strong. De Jong is your man and he's cheap. It's like 650. Well, he's basically discard price. Then we move over to Dumbia. Dumbia has always been overpowered on FIFA. Ibarbo and Dumbia were always neck and neck. Ibarbo for me has dropped off a little bit and Dumbia has taken his place. This guy can do anything when it comes to shooting. He can chip it. He's got a nice finesse about him. But moving over to the reserves now and we do in fact find ourselves using Chiellini. He's a little bit expensive but if, you're, if you've got the coins then go out and splash out because Chiellini is always going to be a rock in the defense. Not many people can get past him if you know how to defend. Great player. Then we have Alba and t for me it was between Gea and Alba who were my favorite like left backs on the game. Alba Alba for me is just a little bit better when it comes to dribbling and just being able to keep possession and he's comfortable and I don't mind if I pass it back to my left back I'm not trying to rush to give it to somebody else I, I feel comfortable dribbling with him Alba great player Quadrado or could Quadrado I don't know how you say his name properly but this guy's got the five star skills he's my typical player where you can really easily be able to maneuver him into positions where you're able to cut inside you can go back to the right you can cross it in you can score with him then we come over to this guy only recently use this card this version but I've always liked the Insigne this is the Italian Messi the way he just control the ball in and out like weaving getting the getting past players he is dangerous and when he gets his team of the season Jesus RIP very very good last player on the reserves and it is Hector Bellerin only started using this card when it was a gold because the silver one I don't really use silvers too much and I'm so thankful that he got an upgrade that right back card is one of the best if not the best right back on the game you can't get past him he's so quick even if you catch him off guard he's got the pace to run back and just get tackles and he's strong he's tall he's great going forward great right back so this right here is my favorite starting 11 on fever 16 in goal we've got Petr Cech if you were to write a list of the goalkeepers you really don't want to come up against Petr Cech would be on the list cracking keeper right back position we had my go-to I said had because I use better in now but this was the player that I used to always go to for a, just a solid right back that was able to respond well to the game and it is a bad say moving over to the first center back and Koscielny arguably the best center back on the game you could say it's Boateng and I'm not going to disagree with that it's down to personal preference 
balance and just the way you play it because Shelney for me is a fraction of the price and he's able to fit in the majority of the teams that I create. Great centre back. Then we got Castan that may be a shock to some of you but if you've never used him before bring him into your team. He's very very responsive to what's going on with the play and he gets vital challenges in and he's just strong. He can command the area. Great centre back. Then we got Baba. This guy is so cheap and fantastic going forward weaving out of challenges, shooting, scoring, defending. He's like the best cheap left back on the game. Really really like him. Then we're going to move over to my favourite player overall on ultimate team on head to head and it is Neymar. Whatever they've done to this game for like variety of going forward and the uh, ability to score goals, Neymar is able to offer you that. He can cut inside and if he goes too far to the right, he's got the left foot as well to cut back on because he's got the five star weak foot. He can finesse, he can score long shots, he's agile, he's just got the great balance about him and he overall is the best player on the game for me. Like no one else can come close. Then we've got Mertens and I don't know what FIFA do with this card but every, well it's EA, every single FIFA that is released, he's balanced to suit the gameplay and once again he's my favourite cam on the game. Then we've got Nangolan and every time I use this card he's balanced going forward, defending, he's just the perfect centre mid if you're looking for that box to box bulldog and Nangolan is going to able to offer you that. Then we've got Lucas and I do see Lucas used a lot. To be fair I'm not shocked because he is a great player. Four star skills, when he cuts inside you just know that he's going to be able to score and he's again a responsive player, really really good. And then moving over to these guys, he's only recently been transferred to Florentina and it is Zarate. This guy is so fun to use for a non-rare card. If you've never used him, bring him into your team. When you're through on goal, he's going to score. He's got great finesse shots, he can shoot it across goal and for a non-rare, that's probably why he's one of my favourite players, just because I never really expected him to be that good but he's fantastic. And then we've got arguably the best striker, like when it comes to dribbling, moving in and out of players, finishing, Dybala is so good. It doesn't even feel like he's got the ball on, on his foot, if that makes any sense. You're just running with Dybala and he's just fantastic. But that is my starting 11 on FIFA 16. You could argue that I could have brought in a Bamiyang in the attack, but these are the ones that I have the most fun with if that makes any sense like you could bring in better players but these are my go-to players when i'm sitting down and wanting to enjoy fifa so guys let me know in the comment section any players i've missed out that are in your starting 11 and if you have enjoyed please do drop a like and i'll see you guys on my next video which will be tomorrow we're gonna have some more project neymar and maybe another bonus video so thanks for watching team out Peace.